Beautiful night here in Miami. Harrison, we are here at Mandarin Oriental. Yes. Hey, come on, Steve, come in. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yes. hey, everybody. Hello, hello. This is the man right here. We got a lot of people coming in. Yes. Yes, so thank you so much for having us. My pleasure, our yeah, pleasure, yeah. Nissan's pleasure, always to thank hang you. with this guy right here. And thanks for that plug, too. Very, Abs very nice. Absolutely. <laughs> And we're going to do some more here in just a minute, yeah, actually. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So, Hiro-san, are you ready? Let's, yeah, before we go to the table over there, what you're going to do a demonstration over there, I'm going to tell everyone, you made a very special Z-Roll, and you guys got to stick around to the end to watch you make it. I've never seen you create, never seen you create anything like that before, you know? So, are you ready to do that? Yeah, sure, sure. All right, Hiro, let's go look at this new car, first of all. So we're here at the Mandarin Oriental Brickell Bay down in Miami. Auto show starts tomorrow. This is the first time this car is going to be seen in public at any auto show. You guys can take a look here. You know Nissan is one of the sponsors for Heroes Channel. And they brought us out for that here. Let's take a look. Beautiful car. You guys got to see it in person. 400 horsepower. You can still get a six speed or Tiptronic if you like. And I know you're going to be able to drive one very, very soon here. Are you excited? Yeah. You have to be, right? You well, actually I had to. I want to take a home with this one. You want to take a home with this one? Actually, here, I asked them if you could drive from here to the auto show, to the convention center, because they have to move it there tonight. And they're thinking about it. Okay, so this is Hero's table. We're going to move over there now. But before we do that, I'm going to walk you all over here. Just take a look at. Here, I actually had a 300 ZX before. This is him. It's kind of a dark picture. And that's her watching his 300. That was in Virginia. And by the way, let me tell you something. This gentleman here, you can know him about Nissan. This gentleman here, that is Bob Sharp from Bob Sharp Racing. He actually raced with Paul Newman back in the day. And uh, he's got like six world titles. And he's here tonight. All right. He's going to start in just a moment here. You're a, he's a celebrity. He is. He's, he's nationwide. He's global. I'm sorry, I get my shoes out. It's okay. Hey, Stacey, thanks so much. Hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah. inside and I you can't see these comments, but I'll definitely tell them. <laughs> you're, you're in Miami. Anything goes, right? 320 Dotson. It's perfect. Yes. Perfect for the beach. Right. You're just busy talking well, it's not a sushi. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> okay, you ready here? No, no, uh, this is uh, YouTube Live. Yeah. Say hello to the YouTube universe. YouTube, YouTube universe. universe. YouTube, YouTube universe. universe. Yes. Okay. Hello. hello, how are you? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. <laughs> okay, Harold, you ready? You want to yeah. start? Time. Okay. Um, All right, here we go. So let's show you what Hero's doing today. I'm not going to tell you what he's making. You guys are going to have to stick to the end to see what he's what he's gonna make for you guys. And uh, cameraman has not shown his face yet. I, we gotta find that guy, I don't know, he's always aloof. We have here radish, we have the cucumbers, and this is a special kind of rice that's part of the anniversary roll that he's gonna make for Nissan. Black rice. Black rice, you'll see that in just a minute. Sorry about the noise, there's so many people out here. All right, Harold, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do a cucumber snake. Okay, he's gonna make the cucumber snake. He's done it in one of the videos quite a while ago. This is kind of a cutting exercise, as you'll see him do. Uh, can we do it? Yeah. We're gonna start it? Yeah, start now. Ready to go. Okay. So first, I'm gonna do, uh, to make the magic before I need to make a uh, salt of water here. Okay. So this is just salt and water, and you'll see why. Part of the preparation, these could be used as garnishes. After slice the cucumber, I'm gonna yeah. put it into the, this sort of water. Okay. So it's very important. Okay. I just wanna keep this thing here. 
We'll get the camera guy to show his face one of these days, okay? Right. So then For I'm sure. Okay, Keep so right now. this is a. Uh, this is one of the exercises, cutting exercises they do in Japan. Okay. Let's go, hero. Oh, film me on this side. But what he's doing is cutting it down about 45 degrees all the way straight down. And then he's gonna turn it over on the other side, which he just did. PC Fishing, how are you? We're headed to San Francisco in a couple weeks, just to let you know. Cameraman is XCIA. Right, so he just finished cutting the cucumber. Yeah, I wanna put some salt over here. This is the salt water here. All right. And let's see about it. Let me give a quick view of you guys and see what's going on around us. And we're here at Brickle Bay, Mandarin Oriental, for the release of the new, the debut. Oh, sorry, debut of the Nissan Z car. What? I, I didn't see. I don't see much. Oh. I chip in my finger a little bit. Okay. Give, give a little time. Okay. 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 You're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. So, uh, okay. Okay. For his. For his. Yeah. yeah Very exactly. cool. All right. I'll. I'll just you introduce you. Gonna talk to you. There's a music going on. So yeah, there is. As we said earlier, we've got a special guest with us. He's a YouTube celebrity. If you get a minute, I need you to go on YouTube and check out Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef, and there you will see the legendary Hiroyuki Tarada. Yes, yes, he's amazing. He's a Guinness World Record holder, and he did it. Where, who was the guy? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, yes, actually, absolutely. Gordon Ramsay, he broke the world record for the most number of carrot slices did i say that right yeah yeah in, in 30 seconds it's Blindful. amazing so go check that out as well but he's going to do a demonstration now a roll a sushi roll in commemoration of another star of this show the beautiful nissan z so i'm going to let ivan you want the microphone yeah, sure. i'm going to give ivan the, ivan hold the microphone there we go all right take it away guys thanks so much on behalf of here myself i want to thank nissan for having us it's been an honor and pleasure to, to spend time with them, especially Steve. Steve is our, is our guy. Thank you so much, Steve. And as you probably heard, Steve mentioned about the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel came about as just kind of an accident. We had a restaurant we opened about 10 years ago. So our YouTube channel is about 10 years old exactly this month on the 24th. And uh, what the reason why we created the YouTube channel is really to showcase hero skills and and really promote the restaurant because his work area is all the way back in the back area. No one, had, no one would ever see him. So we said, all right, let's create a YouTube channel to show people like kind of what you do. And so if anyone ever asked, so is there really a real Japanese chef? Because, you know, still people want a real Japanese chef making food for them. We'd send them to the, the YouTube channel. And it's kind of a few years later, it just kind of took off. And Hero now is just doing YouTube, honestly. And... It's been a it's been a really a fantastic ride, as Steve mentioned. One of the highlights of his career, of Hero's career, is actually being invited to be on Gordon Ramsay's show, the F Word, that was shot about four years ago. And he got he the idea was that Hero had to slice at least 50 carrot slices perfectly, blindfolded in 30 seconds. He had to beat the record of 50. So we had to shoot a couple of videos and send it to them, and he did it. And we went out there. And on live TV, Gordon Ramsay yelling in his ear and everything else. And again, that's where a record adjudicator next to him, he's able to do it. So what he did here now, he just kind of carved out the Z. Wow. Of course, to commemorate the Z car, the beautiful new Z car. And uh, I have to mention this because you guys will probably see it. His right finger, it was kind of dark here. So his knife was there and he kind of uh, clipped his finger. He's never actually cut his finger on, on YouTube at all. And never at all. But uh, people always ask, you ever cut yourself accidentally? Yes. Yeah. So 
unfortunately, that's what happened. So uh, here was, he started cooking at 10 years old. His father took him out on the boat when he was 10 in the bay in Japan. He was actually from Coach Japan, which is very similar to the um, environment, the, the temperatures here in South Florida. And took him fishing, showed him how to make sushi. His mother showed him how to make fried rice. And that's his first experience cooking. So he wanted to come to the States because he was actually working at Toshiba for a while. One of his friends says, if you want to come to the States, you should be a, a chef. So he went to culinary school in Japan. After that, he earned his title as a, a master sushi chef. And how you get that title, you have to be able to stand in front of people at a sushi bar. And but before he did that, he actually washed rice for about six months. That's all they let you do. And why do they do that? In Japan, they do that because they want to make sure that you're actually in it for the long haul. They don't want you just learning some skill and then leaving. So he's done that. Washed rice for six months and then from there he learned tempura and then sushi and graduated to actually stand in front of customers. And he's learned a lot of skills. His nickname in culinary school was the fastest one with a knife. So his whole life he's been cutting stuff blindfolded, not blindfolded. And I can tell you, I've worked with him before. He's extremely fast. A lot of people create beautiful things. But when you have someone that wants to make, that you need making a lot of sushi rolls in one hour because people are waiting, this is a man. So here was work down here. When he, he left Japan, he moved to Virginia. After Virginia, he moved. I actually took a vacation to Key West and he liked the weather so much he decided to move down to Florida. But before he came to South Florida, he was in Orlando for a little bit. And then he ended up here in, in Miami Beach. And he was hired by Kevin Aoki, which is one of the children of Rocky Aoki, the founder of Benihana's. And so he opened the store, still around on Lincoln Road, it's called Duraku. One of the few Japanese restaurants still around in Lincoln Road. And um, from there he went to a couple other restaurants. So when we make the video, when you make the videos, it's, it's kind of like, you never know what you're gonna make. Sometimes you have an idea, sometimes you don't. So here's very traditional Japanese, he likes to do everything. And we've created over 660 videos on YouTube already. We're almost at two million subscribers. Hopefully we'll get past that after tonight. But if not, that's okay. And uh, we, the, the best part of YouTube is that it's a, it's a large, but it's also a small community. I mean a lot of people, a lot of fantastic people. And about YouTube, you have to just go in the love of and have, finding a niche because there's other people making sushi on YouTube. But a true sushi chef from Japan, which by the way, he also holds a license to prepare fugu fish, which is that puffer fish. He has a license in Japan to prepare that. Um, you're not gonna find. There's a lot of people making sushi, but unfortunately, it's kind of like Chinese secrets. We all stood around in a circle, 50 people around. If I told you one thing and, and told you to tell the next person, by the time I would get back to you, it would be something completely different. We played that game before, right? So sushi is kind of the same thing. Unless you learn everything from the masses from before you, you probably will not actually have learned every single thing. And sushi is just more than just rolling a roll. It's the whole preparation. It's the rice has to be perfect. When you fry the tempura, the, just to give you a quick example, the oil has got to be, of course, very hot. But the batter that you make, that you fry the, the, the items with, the, the batter's gotta be extremely cold. And the reason for that is when it hits the oil, it's got a huge reaction and it becomes extra crispy. So those are the little things here and there that people don't learn as, as you're just kind of apprenticing next to sushi chefs. And if you're lucky enough to, to work under someone like Hiro and he's gonna teach you, then you learn a lot. So this is the first time Hiro's done a roll with black rice. And as you can see, he carved out a Z. Actually, one more time, move it back. Yeah, okay, and then take off Want your nose like right at the end of it. There you go. Awesome. Perfect, thank you. Awesome. So right now he's gonna cover that roll with cellophane. And the reason why he does that, when he cuts it, he's gonna keep the seaweed together. Kind of a, you know, sushi has changed so much in the last 20, 30, 40 years. It's completely like in Japan. The things we do here on YouTube, a lot of it's for entertainment. Are you making another? 
sometimes when you run out of ideas, you just kind of run with it. So one time I, I went to McDonald's and I said, you know what, let me just give something to Hero and see if he can make something with. So I showed myself going through the McDonald's drive-thru, picked him a couple of Big Macs and took them back to him in the kitchen. He had no idea. He opened up the bag, he saw two Big Macs, he thought I bought him lunch. Actually, I said, here, let's see what you can do. And he made a sushi roll from a Big Mac. And that's, that wasn't his idea. I just want to make that clear. He doesn't do kind of, kind of a crazy things like that. But they caught the eye of McDonald's and they contacted us to do some collabs together with them. That was, that was a lot of fun. Since then, we created a series called Will It Sushi. And some of you YouTubers out there, you probably heard of um, Good Mythical Morning. They're very, very big. They did a Willet Sushi. They do a Willet a lot of different things, but everyone thought that we copied them. Willet Sushi. We actually did it before them. So just to put it out there. What Hero did earlier, you maybe some of you missed it. This cucumber in the front here, I'm going to point to it right away, right here. So he cuts it on one side all the way through. The cuts have to be very, very close. And then he turns it over and cuts the other side. And then he soaks it in salt water. And then you'll see what it looks like afterwards. And this is one of the cutting exercises that the students learn. Anybody can cut sharp. Uh, you know, anyone can cut, cut onions very, very skillfully. A lot of times it's how fast you cut. And everybody knows a sharp knife is a good knife. A dull knife is unfriendly knife. I want to also reach out. To, we're on YouTube Live right now. I want to say thanks to all the people watching right now. Thank you so much for being here. And by the way, last thing, if you walked in there, you saw Hero's poster board just as the entrance. He actually owned a Z before. In Japan, he actually owned a 79 Camaro. Am I allowed to say that? He owned a 79 Camaro. And uh, yeah. And then when he moved to Virginia, he bought a 300 Z. Right? So think about that. So he's been a Z fan for many, many years. Now what's he doing here? He's going to put some gold flake. I think it's backwards, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's going to put some gold flake on there. That is edible gold flake. 24 carats. Yeah. And people ask, what does it taste like? There's no real taste of gold flake, actually. That's a good picture, yeah. And hopefully it sticks on the roll. If not, there will be some gold floating around on the beach here. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. I'm going to look at this beautiful car again, in case you guys missed it. Four hundred horsepower, and I know there's a, some special surprises coming with this vehicle as well. Yeah, yellow is a beautiful color, isn't it? All right, here goes the gold flake. Some people think this is over the top. If you guys see the world's most expensive hamburger, it's all with a gold sheet over the, the bun and the and the and the, the, the beef patty. Let me just go over and see show you guys. Look at the camera. Right here. Down, down. Thank you. All right, Thank good. You. The gold flake is holding on. I don't know Thank how much that's worth. Hero, how much did that bottle cost? Eighty-five. How much? Eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five dollars, not bad. What is it? One gram? No, it's less than. It can be a gram. One gram? I don't know the measurement. It's maybe one gram seems a bit heavy for that. We'll have to find out. But eighty-five dollars for a small bottle. So we're done here. This is a zero. Want to congratulate Nissan again for bringing out this beautiful Z car out here to Miami. We're from Miami. And it's an honor to work with Nissan. Now, here, let's, let's show them the, the snake. 
Yeah. Uh, so uh, this one. You want to hear? You want to speak? Uh, this one, after slicing up the cucumber, I was looking to the salt water. But at least uh, I have to uh, keep it uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so today is not enough time for 30 minutes. So in this case, I have a, a pre made one here. Yeah. <laughs> so I know the airplane is flying is kind of here, here, hero. What he did is he cut this cucumber earlier, but you need to soak it for at least 30 minutes. But he prepared one earlier today, so this is what happens after you soak it for 30 minutes. See, why don't you do the honors? This is a cucumber. That's a cucumber, and it's, cucumber. you lift up this size here. Yes. Let's do a comparison. That's what it looked like. And this is what after it's got to be perfect. You know, yeah. You know. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it clean, people. <laughs> See, he sliced it. That is amazing. So a lot of times this is used for garnish in, in, in sashimi place and all that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That's it right here. Yeah. And that, uh, thank you so much for, for spending time here and watching us. Steve, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be with you, Nissan. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to say your closing words? Thanks so much. Yes, thank you all very much. Wonderful demonstration. Thank you all very much for coming out and enjoying. This has just been too cool. Thank you, Hero. Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Y'all check him out on YouTube. It's awesome. How's your finger, Hero? You okay? Oh, okay. Chef. You this finger. Chef. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm okay right now. Okay. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, Hero clipped his finger and it started bleeding, unfortunately. Hey, what's but what's your YouTube channel? I think I'm like, Cool, man. Appreciate it. Take a look at this. This is uh, what this event's all about. Beautiful car here on display. We're gonna move it tonight out to the convention center of Miami Beach. The show starts tomorrow at three o'clock. We'll probably be there as well, checking it out. And a beautiful night in Miami. Check this out, you see the moon over there? This is Brickell. Brickell is just south of downtown Miami. And we're at the Mandarin Oriental. That's what this place is at. Thank you all for spending time here and uh, appreciate it so much. We uh, will be traveling next week on Thursday. We're going to be headed out to LA, California again, some fishing again. We just did a collab with Guga. You guys know Guga, one of our very good friends. We did that on Tuesday this past week. We also did a collab with Rob Arrington, Dermy for dinner. You guys will see that coming up. Fantastic, fantastic episodes. And, um, I'm going to share those with y'all, but that's kind of what's coming. As well as Chef Martin Yan. We saw him in San Francisco. That was in the summer. That video's coming out this Sunday. Yan Can Cook, one of our good friends as well. And uh, thank you so much for all being here. Appreciate it so much. And that concludes our special events. Please follow us on Instagram, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Our Facebook page is actually under works right now. We're going to relaunch it very, very soon. You guys will see. And uh, see, see a comment, comment below in this video. And see you soon. Hero, let me, let me take a picture with you holding it up. All right, say goodbye to your fans. Say goodbye. Oh, there's a video? Yeah, in the video live. All right. Hey, guys. Thank you so much. And see you guys soon. Yo, we got a picture. Sure. Oh, with this 